Hello guys, in this video we are going to try to understand isomerism in alkynes. As you remember, isomers are different compounds having the same number of atoms in their structure. Let's try to make some isomers having 4 carbon atoms and 6 hydrogens. As you remember, the general formula of alkynes was Cn H2n minus 2. Now, this molecular formula fits to this general formula. We have 4 carbon atoms, 2n makes 8, minus 2 makes 6. So, this compound could be an alkyne. Now, let's try to make some structures. So, we can have 4 carbon atoms in the main chain. And since it is an alkyne, we need to have a triple bond, like, like this. And then we need to add hydrogens. This needs one more hydrogen. This needs two more hydrogens. And this needs three more hydrogens. As you see, we have four carbon atoms and six hydrogens. An isomer for this compound can be done simply by changing the location of the triple bond. In the previous compound, the triple bond was between first and second. Here it is between second and third. So now let's add the hydrogens, CH3. This is already full, four bonds. This is already four, full, four bonds. And this needs three more hydrogens. At this point, you should remember that there are some different families which have the same general formula. If you remember, we have had a family which are called alkadienes. They have had two double bonds in their structure. And we have had also cycloalkenes. They were cyclic compounds having a double bond in their structure. They also did have the same general formula as alkynes. So, if you have four carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms in your structures, your compound could be an alkyne, but it can be an alkadiene or cycloalkene as well. We can have four carbon atoms again. This time we're going to have two double bonds. Then I will have two hydrogens, one hydrogen, one hydrogen, and two hydrogens. Right? And we can also draw a cycloalkene we said. Let's try doing that. We're going to have four carbon atoms and a double bond. We'll have two hydrogens here, two hydrogens here, one hydrogen here, and one hydrogen here. These are four different isomeric compounds which have the molecular formula C4H6. If you wish, you can try making some different isomers for compounds having molecular formula C5H8. Good luck.